Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Essio Sugadaro and I am currently a neurologist and a neuroscientist at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Today I'm going to be talking about what is neurology. Neurology is a term that we use in the medical field and I want to make sure that you guys really understand what this term means so that when I use it in other videos, you have a general understanding of the vocabulary that we use in the medical field. So let's get started. And also note, if you haven't already followed me, my social media handles are below my YouTube channel. My, I have a Facebook page at Dr. Iguodaro and I also have a Twitter account. So be sure to follow me to keep up with videos and other educational resources and material for, uh, for your understanding. Let's get started. So what's the purpose of this PowerPoint? What's the purpose of all of my social media platforms? The main purpose is to create educational videos discussing neurological conditions for individuals with these conditions, their caregivers, and the public. One of my biggest passions is education. And there is a lot of research and education that we develop in medicine and I want to help disseminate that information in a way that people can understand and it's engaging for the overall public. So that's the purpose of this of the series. Now I want to say some disclaimers before we get into the meat of the presentation. This video is for educational purposes only. It is not medical advice. It should not be taken as medical advice, only education. Secondly, I already got to that point, not medical advice. If you have any concerns about your health, you should talk to your primary care provider or your doctor about your health concerns. Lastly, this video is not associated with my current place of employment or my previous place of employment. This is an independent video that I want to do at my own time to educate people about neurological diseases. So what is neurology? Well, I went to Webster's Dictionary to see how, how does Webster define neurology? They say it's a branch of medicine concerned especially with the structure, function, and diseases of the nervous system. So what is the nervous system? Here's an illustration that kind of illustrates what the nervous system is. So all the different neurons, let me get my mouse here. The nervous system includes the brain and all of the spinal nerves that come out of the brain. They go down into your spinal cord. They have nerves that are coming out of your spinal cord that feed into your arms, to your organ system, and down to your legs. So neurologists are concerned with the brain and the nerves that come out of the brain that go into all different parts of your body. So now that I've talked about the branch of neurology, what is a neurologist? Well, again, I use a different source called the American Academy of Neurology, and here's how they define what a neurologist is. A neurologist is a medical doctor with specialized training in diagnosing, treating, and managing disorders of the brain and nervous system. So as I said yet earlier, the nervous system contains your brain and all the different spinal cord, all the different nerves that come out of your brain. And a neurologist is a person who manages diseases that affect either the brain or the nerves that come out of the brain. And that's a picture of me. I'm a neurologist. So how does one become board certified as an adult neurologist? Of note, there are different kinds of neurologists. The main branch is those who take care of adults 18 years or older and those who take care of children less than 18 years. The people who take care of children are called pediatric neurologists and those of us that take care of adults 18 or older are called adult neurologists. So the remainder of this presentation is going to be focused on adult neurology training in the United States. So how long does it take for someone to become an adult neurologist? It takes about 25 years, starting from kindergarten all the way up to finishing their training. 
that's a long time to be training, but it's worth it. So let's start from the beginning. So kindergarten through 12th grade here in the United States is about 12 years. That's me graduating from high school with my friends. It was a phenomenal moment, phenomenal day, smiling. Then after, after kindergarten through high school, then you have to go to college. Here in the US, college is about four years. You get your bachelor's degree. That's me graduating from the University of Kentucky. One of the best moments of my life as well. It's a very phenomenal time to, to finally finish college. So then after college, then we apply and go to medical school. In the United States, medical school is four years. That's me during the white coat ceremony, which is a ceremony for incoming medical students to get their white coat. And that's one of my great friends, Katia Alamova, who is now a anesthesiologist at the University of Kentucky. She is phenomenal. We've known each other for about 10 plus years. After medical school, we go and do residency. So it's at residency where we are considered physicians or doctors because after medical school, you graduate with your MD degree. So anyone who is done with medical school is a doctor. That's why I highlighted it or I coded it in yellow so that you know we are now doctors. And residency is four years for neurology, for adult neurology. And this is my first professional business card. This is my business card at Mayo Clinic, resident physician, neurology. When I got these business cards, I was just so thrilled. I pass it out to all the patients that come and see me. And it's just good to, to be able to practice what I've been studying for for a really long time. So after residency, there are some of us that will go and even further self-specialize into what we call a fellowship program. And the fellowship program can last between one to three years. And it's in these programs that we get more specific training in a specific area of field. Again, at this stage, we are medical doctors. So these are the different kinds of fellowship programs that exist currently in the United States. And I'll just highlight some of the ones that you will be probably run into that are more common in the neurological uh, field. So here are the ones that are more common and they treat more of the common neurological disorders. So autonomic disorders such as uh, those that have autonomic dysfunction, those that have orthostatic hypotension is is um, a fellowship that people can go into to be able to further understand that disorder even more. Behavioral neurology is a fellowship for individuals who are interested in studying cognition and dementia. So those that have Alzheimer's disease, vascular dementia, frontal temporal dementia will maybe see a neurologist who is subspecialized in behavioral neurology. Epilepsy is the discipline where people further specialize in the area of seizures. So those of you that have seizures will probably see um, an epilepsy doctor. Headache medicine is for individuals who want to study headaches and, the, and migraines and other, um, and other diseases that can cause head pain. And some of you guys that have refractory migraines probably see a headache specialist. Neurocritical care fellowship are for individuals who want to further specialize in um, the hospital setting, especially in the neurosciences intensive care unit. So they deal with individuals who are who have serious life threatening um, illnesses in the medical ICU. And nurse infectious disease is a fairly new fellowship, but it's starting to become um, more well known because currently um, we're in COVID, COVID-19 season, and we're still trying to understand what are the neurological consequences, if any, of COVID-19. So this is a very important um, field in, in neurology. And neuromuscular medicine, those are individuals that are doing the needle studies that some of you guys may have gone through in order to help 
diagnose your neurological conditions. Neuro-ophthalmology deals with individuals that have um, issues with, with their eyes that's due to a neurological um, pathology. Neuro-oncology are those that deal with brain tumors. And we have neurophysiology as well, sleep medicine. And my favorite is vascular neurology, which are those that deal with individuals that have strokes. My fields of interest are um, either vascular neurology and or behavioral neurology for fellowship. So after you are done with fellowship, what's next? You are finally considered an attending. So an attending is someone who has gone through all these stages of training. That person has finished residency may have done a fellowship and now they are done training and they are practicing independently and they can see patients by themselves. That's the goal. Highlighted in blue again or encircled in the blue rectangle are stages at which someone is considered a physician. So after you're done with medical school, you're either a resident, a fellow, or an attending and those three individuals are all medical doctors. So that means that they are licensed to see and treat patients. The difference is their educational and training experience. So that's it for what is neurology. My next videos will be what is neuroscience and what is dementia. So stay tuned and make sure you follow me on YouTube Facebook, and Twitter so that you can keep up to date on all of my upcoming videos in the future. And here are all my social media platforms. And I can't wait to see you guys next time. If you have any questions or suggestions for new videos, go ahead and post below. Share the video and be sure to check back for more great content. And if you speak another language, please let me know. I'm really interested in trying to make this information free available for as many people as possible. And people who speak different languages can help translate um, via subtitles so that we can share the knowledge with everyone. Thank you, stay safe, and I will see you at the next video. Bye. Oh, and if you wanna use these slides, please let me know. Contact me before using these slides. Thanks. Bye.